Ten years ago, Kiwa Motors was little more than a bold idea sketched on paper. Today, at the ginger plant, you can watch Uganda's first homegrown vehicles come to life stage by stage. What started as a visionary concept a decade ago has now become a vital part of Uganda's push towards industrial self-sufficiency and environmental sustainability. So what this machine basically does. The head of design and engineering at Kira Motors, Joel Kutesa Mulwana, leads us to tour the plant. It is alive with a hum of machinery. The precision of workers shaping steel into functional vehicles. So the machine shop, all the parts making workshop, is what helps us achieve these brackets. You find that maybe this one is holding a thrust rod or some component of an axle. You make it here right from the design and then you feed these uh, machines that are CNC enabled with a CAD file. The body shop. Here, sheets of raw steel are transformed into the framework of bus doors, floors, and roofs carefully cut, shaped, and welded. Workers inspect every piece with a keen eye, ensuring the frame can handle Uganda's rugged terrain. The assembly process moves to the chassis line, where the electric motor, axles, and batteries are integrated into the bus skeleton. So, this particular station is what begins the welding attachment of the steel plate pieces. So you attach the door plates, the base plates, the underbody plates. So it's basically plates for this entire line. At the end of this line, we basically have what they call a body in white ready for the paint shop. Here, each bus undergoes a meticulous process of bus proofing and quoting, ensuring they are ready for the demands of both the environment and daily use. Before any bus hits the road, it goes through boot camp. Engineers drive it over a rough test track to shake out any flaws. From here, we head to the water intrusion test booth. The goal is to evaluate the effectiveness of the vehicle's sealing systems, roof integrity and overall water resistance. We are at the water intrusion test booth where Kira Motor vehicles go through a simulated downpour and for there to be checks of is there a leakage, is there a drainage, uh, is the drainage good and overall weather proofing and so far so good we haven't seen any leakages, there's no rain in the vehicle and I think we're doing well with With Kampala consistently ranking among the most polluted cities in Africa the company's electrical buses provide a cleaner alternative to traditional fuel-powered vehicles. One of the key challenges into the world right now is climate change and addressing that is very important. So providing sustainable mobility solutions is very important to us and it's key to what we do as Kira Motors Corporation. And just to really give into perspective, ever since we launched our products, we've been able to save about 1,000 tons of carbon dioxide. So with that amount, we've been able to substitute about 300,000 liters of fuel. If you quantify that, that is about 1.5 billion Uganda shillings. So in terms of saving the environment, but also in terms of efficiency when it comes to the pocket, which is very important, this is really the way to go. One of the most striking aspects of Kira Motors operations is its commitment to gender inclusivity. Women at the plant are involved in more than just administrative roles. They play an integral part in the manufacturing process itself. This means that women are able to take part in revolutionizing the transport sector in Uganda. I call upon the women out there to take up the opportunities the Kira Motors Corporation offers. Sharon Chomdusha, Samuel Senenu, UBC News.